Here's another uh, word problem in algebra, uh, one dealing with investments. And let's read the problem. A sum of $4,000 is to be invested in two portions, one at 4%, the other at 6%. If the interest earned with the portion invested at 4% exceeds the interest earned by the portion invested at 6% by $40, how much is invested at each rate? Whoa, doesn't that give you a headache already? Before we even get started. Oh, if we don't have a good methodology into a problem like this, you're probably going to get stuck. So let's read it one more time and then we'll go ahead and start very systematically solving this problem. So we have the sum of $4,000, so the total amount of $4,000 is to be invested in two portions. So part of the $4,000 will be invested at 4% and the other part of the $4,000 will be invested at 6%. If the interest earned with the portion invested at 4% exceeds the interest earned with the portion invested at 6% by $40, how much is invested at each rate? Wow, you read it twice and you still get confused. Well, let's go ahead and start working out this problem. So we always like to start with saying let x equal, and of course remember we had two portions that add up to $4,000, so let x equal the first portion. So let x equal the amount invested at 4% and then the 4,000 minus x, the remainder, 4,000 minus x is equal to the amount invested at 6%. Ah. Now, all of a sudden, the problem seems not so bad anymore. Now that we have carefully defined how much we invested at, at each rate, now we have to come up with an equation, a constraint, something that helps us figure out this problem. And it says that the interest invested at 4%, or the interest earned by the investment invested at 4%, so interest uh, at 4%, exceeds the interest earned by 6% by $40. Hmm. So that means that the interest earned at 4% is equal to $60, no, $40 more than the interest earned at 6%. So it's equal to the interest earned at 6% plus $40. There's my constraint. So here you can see that the interest earned at 4% is $40 more than the interest earned at 6%. So you have to put it into an equation and knows that this is kind of reverse from what we wrote in the English language. And that's kind of the way we write it in mathematics. So again, the interest earned at 4% is equal to $40 more than the interest earned at 6%. We're ready to go. Now, of course, again, the interest earned is equal to the principal times the rate. So the interest earned at 4% is going to be the amount invested at 4% times the rate. So x times 0.04 equals the amount invested at 6%. So it's 4,000 minus x times 6%, which is 0.06 plus 40. And now I'm ready to solve this equation. So the first thing I would like to do is get rid of the decimals. So multiply both sides by 100. So the left side by 100. Multiply the right side by 100. Okay. So 100 times 0.04 is 4. So this is x times 4. Equals 100 times 0.06 is 6. So this becomes 4,000 minus x times 6. And of course, 100 times 40 is with two more zeros. That becomes now 4,000. All right. Now we can go ahead and get rid of the decimals. Not decimals because we got rid of those already. I meant the parentheses. So we'll multiply everything out. So this is 4x equals 6 times 4,000 is 24,000. 6 times x is, and it's a minus, that becomes minus 6x. And that would be plus 4,000. All right, the next step is to move all the numbers that have an, or all the terms with an x to the left side. Everything else stays on the right side. So this minus 6x 
goes over here. The other side, it becomes 4x plus 6x. Remember, whenever you cross the equal sign, you want to change that sign. And on the right side, we have 24,000 and plus another 4,000. All right, so 4x plus 6x, we can combine like terms now. So this is 10x equals 24,000 plus 4,000 is 28,000. And divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, that cancels out. And 28,000 divided by 10 is 2,800. So we end up with x equals 2,800. And since we did such a good job defining what x was, x was the amount invested at, 10, at 4%. So the amount invested at 4% is $2,800. And that leaves um, 4,000 minus 2,800, which is 1,200. That leaves $1,200, which was invested at 6%. Now, just to make sure we did this correctly, what we need to do is figure out how much we earned at each. So 4%, we invest $2,800 at 4%. So if we multiply 4% times this, we get $112. And um, if we invest $1,200 at 6%, we get $72. And the question is, is this $40 more than this? And the answer is yes, it is. So therefore, those are the correct answers. And that's how you do that problem.